points. We are here at the end gate and portal, whatever you want to call it. Not sure exactly what it's called. Uh, we're going to do some end rating, like promised. And um, I haven't actually been to the end in this world, so I don't know how much is looted. I don't really, I don't know. So this is going to be, um, we'll see. We'll see. Now, just looking around, uh, they have clearly been busy here. Uh, wow. Yeah, they looks like they've opened almost every single gateway leading out. So, doesn't look like we'll be doing a dragon fight on this let's play, clearly. Uh, but yeah. Looks like they've opened quite a few of them. I don't know which one I'm going to pick. Looking at these. Um, we'll just do a random one. We'll do this one. don't already have an elytra you end up bridging out just using blocks from island to island which can be the worst but since we thankfully already bought an elytra we don't have to worry about that so I'm gonna fly around for a little bit and I will bring you back when uh, I find the first city Alright, well, looks like we found a city. Whether it's raided or not, I do not know. But let's fly up here. It does look like this end ship has already been hit, because I don't see a shelter box over there. And yes, it has. Looks like there's nothing left in here. for some trash. There is a shulker box over here. It looks like they didn't hit all the shulker boxes, hopefully. Because I see two right there. And one on the roof over here. So maybe they just hit the elytra. Which honestly, I would like to get another elytra, but I'm not super concerned about um, getting elytras today as much as I am shulker boxes. Because we could have bought so shulker boxes, but that's not as fun. Damn, they closed again. Oh my god! Obviously, when the shulker shoot out those little, like, whatever they I don't actually know what they're called, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, they make you flip. So you gotta be super careful about that with those. I know there was one down here somewhere. Where were you, Mr. Shulker? Oh, he's over here. Did he drop a shulker shell? Uh, looks like he did. I need to go down to the bottom anyway, and I prefer to start at the bottom of the city and just kind of work my way up. So that is what we'll do. Did we see that we could shoot with a bow from here? Yeah, that one right there. Open up. There we go. And we got him. While we're here also, we're going to want to get a couple of chorus flowers. Just so we can make a little uh, farm out of these once we get back home. Because these and uh, blaze rods are what you use to make uh, end rods. Which obviously we could get a bunch of end rods just raiding cities, but uh, where's the fun in that? Yeah. 
Yeah, if you do get shot by one of the shulker's little pellet things, it's best to just try to stay underneath something like this. And moving up. Oh. And each end city is different. Uh, a lot of them are pretty similar, but for the most part, they're all unique. So uh, you never know actually like what you're gonna find loot wise or like how they're gonna look. Like this one, most of these little towers will have a shulker at the top. Let's see if there's actually one. I might as well get him rather than. Uh, he's not there. I was wrong. No shulker at the top. But usually they will have a shulker at the top, and um, that's the you can just shoot them with a bow rather than climbing all the way up there. It's not really worth it most of the time. But these towers usually lead up to like a big open, um, uh, open area where there's a bunch of shulkers lining the walls, and the only way to get up is like these parkour bricks, kind of like this. Or you can just let one of the shoulders shoot you and float to the top, which is what we will do unless this has been raided, which it looks like it has. Hmm. So it looks like they did the good part of this end city, but not the lower levels. That is super disappointing. Welp, we will move onward then, and try to find another one. I'll bring you back in a second when we find another one, because this one has been a huge disappointment. We did get nine shulker shells out of it, which will get us uh, what, four shulker boxes, because two shulker shells make a shulker box, but that's not enough. I want to get at least a stack of shulker shells today, so I'll bring you back in a second. Alright, we found another city. Let's see if it's looted. It doesn't look like this end ship is, because there's still a shulker up here. So, let's go down in here. Yes, we got a clean city. Alright, hopefully we can get a good amount of shulkers out of this. We just got a spare elytra. Ooh, some diamonds. Emeralds, some iron. Let's see what this is looking like. Silk touch. I'll take that. I'll take that. Sharpness, fire aspect. Nope, don't want that. I will take the gold. Don't need a saddle. But I do want the chest. Just because it'll save me the trouble of making them. Because I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but you do need chests in order to make shulkers. Or shulker boxes, sorry. It's uh, two shulker shells and a chest to make a shulker box. There's always going to be a shulker box right on the other side of this block in the um, end ship, also. Every single time, doesn't matter. Um, we'll come up this way also. And gotta be careful because it's on the edge here, but there's always a dragon head right here. We'll try to put a block underneath that guy. So he'll fall into the void. And we somehow still lost it. We somehow still lost it. But that's okay because, like we talked about before, I'm going to fly down in a minute anyway because I like to start at the bottom of the cities and work my way up. But, oh, I hide from that thing. We don't want to get hit by that. What the hell? I didn't take that many arrows. Also, a habit I have is I like to destroy some of this when I come to the end cities. That way, I know and anybody else knows that comes up on this city that this ship has been looted. And they don't get you know excited thinking they found one that's not. And it is. So let's hop down. Grab this dragon head, and then we will start at the beginning of the city. And try not to look at any Enderman on the way up because they hate me. I try not 
tried to tell them that one of my best friends in Minecraft is also an Enderman. She wears Enderman skins all the time, but the Endermen don't seem to care. They still try to kill me. All the time. Where did those shulkers go? Normally when they teleport, they teleport somewhere close. And there's one. Did he drop anything? No, he didn't. Yeah, normally if they teleport from the front door, they usually come like right out here. But these two did not, apparently. I'm feeling like also this is a good time to go ahead and make um, a crafting table. Go and do it that. So we can make a shulker box to start putting in some of this loot. Because clearly our inventory is full. It happens extremely quickly in end rating. And uh, there's really no way to avoid it um, with the amount of loot that you get. So we made our first shulker box. We'll put that down. And what I like to do is, I like to just fill up uh, the shulker boxes as I go, basically with the loot that I take. Oh, I didn't take that side. Um, yeah, so I like to just, like I said, fill them up as I go, kind of thing. And uh, that way, my inventory is not completely full. At the end, I'll have a bunch of shulker boxes full of loot and the shulker boxes. So when I get back to my base, I can empty out all the loot into chests. And then I have the empty shoulders, which is pretty much what we want here. So we'll go ahead and make one more since we have another chest. Add up. Normally we would want to use our sword on these shulker boxes because we have looting three. And it's, it helps the odds of them dropping two shulker shells rather than one. But in these situations, honestly, I like to pluck off as many of these guys as possible before I even go up there. Oh, see how the arrows drop back down like that too? Be aware of that. If you shoot a shulker that is closed, the arrow will come back down, and if it hits you, you could die. Because, like I say, if you have a bow like mine, which is a pretty good bow, that has like power 5 on it, and fire aspect, if that arrow drops back down and hits you and you're not at full health and you don't have decent armor on, you will die pretty quickly. I've had it happen when I was like way out in an end city and I did not make it back to get my stuff. Deeply depressing. So yeah, just be aware of that. Uh, a lot of people also like to bring shields with them on uh, end rating. I personally don't, oh, thank god for feather falling. I personally do not wear a shield during end rating just because I'm just not used to it. And the shields kind of throw me off, to be honest. So, uh, but it is handy, especially if you don't have like good protection armor. The shields will keep you from taking too much damage from the shoulders on the way up. But I'm not too worried about that right now. do need to eat. It also depends on like what difficulty you're playing on. If you're playing on uh, normal or easy, I wouldn't honestly worry about using the shield at all. Odds are they're not going to kill you. Uh, we are playing on hard, so it makes it a tad bit more difficult, but it's not anything that you know we can't take care of. I only see one shulker shell down there. That is hugely disappointing for as many shulkers as we just killed. But again, that's why you want to use your looting three sword and not your bow. But, you know, what do you do? There's a shulker on the roof. Sometimes there is one on the roof. And normally this is not a thing. There is a whole other building spawned on top of this building. That almost never happens. Thinking of it, I don't think I've ever actually seen this. Yeah, th this is this is a bit odd. Not not a normal thing. These rooms usually spawn obviously quite far away. Oh god, I'm stuck in a block. I'm stuck in a block. Oh, that was close, people. Uh, there's a bug right now in the current version that uh, basically it's really easy to get stuck in blocks. Essentially. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, it's like super easy to get stuck in blocks right now. And uh, you can suffocate pretty quickly. That's why you, you seen I was like frantically trying to um, break the block with my pickaxe. Because you'll just die really quickly. And, and I don't, I really don't understand why. Oh my god, I got shot with another one. Jesus. Good thing I have feather falling on. But if you have an light drawn also when you're floating like this, you can glide down a little bit, which is what I just did. It kind of dulls the fall a bit. So you don't just smash right into the ceiling. Close out of that one, that's a win. Yeah, so I didn't touch on the feather falling aspect. You want the best feather falling boots you can get before you come to the end, which are feather falling four. Always, always, always do not come here without feather falling. I cannot reiterate that enough. You will die if you do not have feather falling. There's all these shulkers making you fly up in the air constantly. It's the worst. Yes, you, you will 100% die with the, the constant floating around and dropping. Alright, rather than um, you just watching me do the same thing repetitively over and over, I figured I would uh, speed the time up on the clip a little bit. Go over a few things that are pivotal to end rating one more time, and then we'll uh, dump on some music. Um, like I said earlier, first off, always, 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 feather falling. Can't reiterate that enough. Feather falling, feather falling, feather falling. Also, uh, always make sure you bring enough wood to make a crafting table so you can make your shulkers while you're here. Otherwise, your inventory is going to fill up immediately, and you're basically going to be throwing stuff away that you could possibly use. Um, another thing, bring a good bow. Good bows will save your life in the end, because the shulkers will just tear you up if you don't have one. Um, make sure you put infinity on it, mainly because if you don't have infinity, you're going to have to bring multiple stacks of arrows, which will then, once again, eat up your inventory. Um, if you're coming to the end for the first time, I would recommend making a stack of rockets before you come. That way when you do find your first elytra, you can at least try to fly to the next city. If you already have mending books and I'm breaking three books, bring those too. But if you don't have them, it's not a big deal. I mean, you could fly for quite a while with an elytra before it'll break. Um, but other than that, there's not much to it other than just wandering around trying to find a city. I wish you luck on your venture. And here's a short clip of some random music that I found online for royalty-free stuff. Enjoy.
looks like we found one. And these are the little in out outer gateway things. I don't really know what they're called. <laughs> we tried to fly into it. It didn't work. Uh, normally, I try to fly into them, but clearly that one did not work. Um, so you just want to pillar up a little bit and throw an ender pearl inside of one of these guys. Look at the, I'm telling you, Enderman hate me, and I, I don't know why. I've never done anything, <sighs> they're just always trying to kill me, guys. And I really don't know, I didn't kill Enderman for these Ender Pearls. Definitely got them from a cleric, that mine and Lunar's little zombie area, so, huh. And once you throw an Ender Pearl through there, it brings you back to the main island. Again, I'm still kind of amazed that they built this giant portal around this and beat the dragon that many times already. Didn't know they were doing dragon fights like that. What a joint. Makes me sad. But in we go. And it brings us back to our bed. So, we will uh, take a look at the loot that we got. Let's see here. We got eight ender chests, so that's cool. Don't have to worry about crafting the ender chests anytime soon. Uh, we got 39 shulker shells there, an elytra, 17 diamonds. All right, so let's just take out the important stuff here. Leave the rest of that in there. We'll sort the rest of that out later. Looks like we got a little over a stack of shulker shells, which is good. That's what we wanted. Uh, we got 20 diamonds, almost a full stack of gold ingots, 40 iron ingots, and two elytras. So, that's a win. That is a win. Which we'll sort out all that stuff later. And uh, real quick, I want to show you for the end of the episode what we've been working on. Which this snow putting a damper on my plans here because see this whole area this me and Luna were talking about we're gonna make like a kind of like a port dock looking thing like underneath all this is stone you know how long it took me to put all of this stone here and now there's just snow over top of it don't know what I'm gonna do about it but once we light it up it should be fine but uh, we're gonna build a bunch of little like market looking areas in here with like little houses or I wouldn't even say houses more like little tiny shops that we are going to put our villagers in. That way, uh, you know, we have a little villager area that's not all crammed into one building like most villager trading halls are. So we'll have a nice little, like, uh, port that has all of our villagers in it. I just need to clear out some of this, um, some of these blocks back here. We need to build the actual little villager um, market houses. I don't even know what... I'm calling them right now, village or market houses, uh, storefronts, there we go, storefronts, and I started on a little dock here that's going to lead out, I think, a little tiny bit further, I may put like a ship of some kind right in this area, I don't know, that leads out to the actual mob farm, but uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode, uh, thanks for joining us, like I said, we did some end rating. That was pretty fun, a little dangerous, mainly due to the Endermen. They just, one day they'll love me. One day, maybe. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Give me a sub, like, tell your friends. Oh, we've inadvertently also made a tiny mob farm underneath of our dock. We'll have to take care of that. Next episode.